Well, hello, everyone. It's Sunday, August 28, 2022. I am Doug. It's time once again to play Quartal. Uh, let's take Haven from yesterday's solve. Haven gets me at least something on every puzzle. We like that. Um, okay, let's see. How about we'll follow that up with Stomp? Uh, okay, I was hoping for a little more than I got. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, what do we want to do here uh, on that third puzzle? We have S and A locked into position, and we have a T and an E out of position. Uh, hmm, interesting. Um, I can't imagine the E being in the third spot, so that would mean it would have to be in the fourth spot. Uh, hmm. All right, we'll come back to that one. We'll come back to that one. Uh, all right, uh... All five letters of Fudgy are available for the third guess, so we're going to go with that. And, wow, look at that. Nothing except for the third puzzle. The good news, however, is we've gotten the answer. Saute. Uh, cut and dry. That was pretty easy. So we'll take that. But I got to tell you, I lament the fact that there's very little to go on for the other three puzzles here at all. Very unusual so I suspect we need to proceed with another evaluation. I will say probably uh, brick is the first thing that comes to mind. Five quality letters. I've got a feeling we're going to light a lot up here. We kind of have to, right? Uh, so what is brick going to give us? Uh, well, brick gives us, well, I was hoping for more than I got, if we're being honest. Uh, let's take a look at the first puzzle. We have I and K in the third and the fifth spot locked in. We have C and N out of position. I'm going to, let's just assume that we have um, the N at the, in the fourth position, I and K. Uh, that means that C is probably going to be in the front. Uh, so you have something like clink. Uh, as a matter of fact, that seems to be probably the only thing we can do here, right? There it is. It's clink. Okay. So we've worked our way through that. Uh, and then if we move over to the second puzzle, we have the B and the E locked in in the uh, the first and the last position, respectively. We have an L and an I to home. We know the I can't be in the uh, third spot. So let's say if we put it in the fourth spot, uh, hmm, that actually doesn't work great here. Um, hmm, I mean, if it was in the second spot, let's just do a visualization. Uh, what would we put in, where would we put that L? Um, hmm, yeah, something just feels off here. Uh, oh, could it be, hmm, uh, hmm, could be, oh, B-E-L-I-E? There it is. Wow. I was, I wasn't quite feeling super confident about that, but I pulled the trigger for some reason and there we are. Uh, that brings us to our last word here. We have two guesses. We have C, L, O, and A all out of position. All out of position. Uh, so these can be tricky. Uh, hmm. L, O, oh, local. Oh, local looks really good here. Local looks super good. Is the answer local? Yes, it is. All right. Well, uh, another day, another quartal. Uh, that was a nice little fun one. Uh, I had some fun with that. Uh, folks, thank you for watching. As always, we'll be back tomorrow with some more quartal.